Hey guys, I'm reviewing Lego Doctor Who, the Oblivion Trilogy, which was created by Smith Movies Inc. If you guys watching don't know, Smith Movies Inc. is one of the best YouTubers I've come across. He's gone a long way, now with almost 1,000 subscribers, and that is just amazing. It all started on 5th of November 2010, when the first episode of the miniseries was uploaded. Since then, we've had Revenge of the Cybermen, The Time Menace, Tag the Daleks, The Stormmaker, and Memory Lane. After the huge success of the series, now with Revenge of the Cybermen, over 85,000 views, we were brought the thrilling and amazing Oblivion Trilogy, where the Doctor, Amy, and now Rory must stop the Master taking over the universe. The story was epic, and when you don't think it can get any better, it does. The idea of the Oblivion Trilogy amazes me. How can someone come up with such a good idea, and it's not Stephen Moffat? The idea of three stories that make a legend is very clever. The story of the three beasts, and the story of the Reel of Oblivion, in the Wheel of Oblivion, and then the Sword of Oblivion in, li in the Light in the Darkness, made up an amazing storyline to unfold for the Doctor. The best bit was the TARDIS. I love the TARDIS, that was amazing. I like the original design, but I thought it was much better changing it. My favourite parts are the door leading to, into another room and the console itself, because it's got so many cool controls. The animation was good too, especially when in episode 5 the ninja throws one of the master's guards and he is flung to the air. I have no idea how that happened. I couldn't see any effects or editing. I was just amazed at that bit. And I also really like the master when he fires his lasers. When the Dalek Cybermen sometimes ask the doctor to help them, I thought that was awesome. Also I like the Cybermen's handlebars and the Sontaran head. I would have also made a Silurian, Silurian minifigure maybe to go with them, or maybe some Cybermounts for the Cyberman. I prefer the new Daleks to the old, the old Daleks in Series 1 because they have much cooler armour. Don't forget to subscribe Smith Reviews Inc. and his second channel Smith Reviews Inc. I'm really looking forward to his next episode, The Red Assassin. If I can sum it up in one sentence, it would be BBC's You'd Be Jealous.